Hi everyone, welcome to the channel. My name is Colin, call sign MM0OPX. Thanks for joining me if uh, you've not been here before. So this video is going to be a little bit about uh, teaching your granny how to suck eggs for some. So if that's the case, I apologise and you'll probably just um, change the video shortly. Uh, but I'm going to show those who don't know um, how I make my radials. Uh, so I've got a requirement to do this for my 20 metre phase vertical project that I'm currently working on. These yellow radials up here, this is a batch I made up uh, last night. So I'm going to make up the same tonight and I'm going to show you how I do it. There's probably 100, there's 101 different ways of making radials, but I'm going to show you my way uh, of doing them. And there's, you know, there's a lot of videos out there saying uh, how, many radi how many radials do you need and how long do they have to be. Um, but I go with the general rule of thumb of the total, um, the total amount of wire that you have down. And that I I make that at least sixteen um, quarter wavelengths. So um, these bunches these equal nineteen point two radials uh, on twenty meters. So it's two meter radials. There's eight in a bunch, and uh, there'll be six bunches on each antenna. So let's uh, let's go and get started. Let's have a look at the um, materials and tools we're going to be using tonight. And obviously the main one is um, is the wire that I'm going to be using for the radials. And this is wire that I bought from Sota Beams. I'll put this in the um, the descriptions. I kept the um, the label from it, so it's um, seven strands of uh, 0.2 millimeter. You can buy this in a military green color, or this they call this. I think they call this fluorescent yellow, but I wouldn't quite say that. But it's certainly um, certainly brighter than the green. Um, and the reason for me getting this is because I'm going to be working portable, or I work portable mostly. Um, it's going to be easier for me to see uh, in the uh, undergrowth and so on. Um, so I'm going to be so what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut bunches of um, eight radials. So there's going to be eight radials at two meters long each. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to join them together. I'm going to crimp them into this little um, this little spade connector. These actually start off like life like like this, um, but I take the um, the yellow bit off. Um, glue lined heat shrink or adhesive lined heat shrink. This stuff is is, is amazing. I don't use anything else, normal heat shrink, I, I don't use it, I have some, but I've never used it for years. Um, obviously this takes a grip with the adhesive, it's, it's brilliant stuff and you'll see why I use this. But obviously some basic tools, some snips, a um, pair of pliers, normal pliers would do, it's such as this part I'm going to need. Um, wire strippers, now I really need to get a better, oh, a better set of these, I bought these from my local um, Lidl's when they were on offer some time ago. And they're not the best, they do the job but they're not great. And I'm not using a soldering iron. This is actually, um, well it is a soldering iron, but I'm just using the, uh, the bare flame. And you'll see why. There's the uh, tip there that, that, that I've taken it out. And it's it's just a bit quicker and easier if I just use the bare flame. Okay, um, let's uh, let's go and cut some wire. So I've, I've cut um, eight wires. So these are all two meters long each, and I'm going to join these together. So I'm going to want to strip these. Um, so what I'll do is I'll get the strippers. Um, and I'm learning actually just to not completely strip it with these, but just um, just start it. I really do need to invest in a pair of decent uh, wire strippers. If you could maybe recommend some, please uh, do so in the comments. The reason I put my finger on it is because I don't quite take a bite. Oops, there's it. There we go. Okay. What I'll do is I'm going to strip the um. PVC outers off. Oh, there's one I've missed. So we now want to uh, to line these up as best we can with the, the, the end of the PVC coating. It doesn't need to be perfect, but kind of reasonably lined up. Okay. 
Okay, there we go, that looks, looks reasonable. So now let's twist these together. I'm going to trim this down a little bit. So I'll just put that to the side. So I've already got some of these uh, fork connectors prepared, but uh, I'll show you what I do. Now you can actually buy these uninsulated um, from the likes of RS, which would probably be a bit easier for me. I tend to take them off most of the time. So you just give them a little crush with your pliers and you can see that it um, comes off no problem. So you can see that um, this is going to go into here, but it's just a little bit too long. So I'll just take my snips, just get a little cut here. Okay, so there we go. Before we do that though, we're actually going to put on our heat shrink. You could put it on from the other end and you can actually fit it over the connector if need be. I'm just going to put it on beforehand. And then we're going to get our crimpers. I absolutely love these. These are, these are a fantastic tool. Use them all the time. Um, so find it the right size that it fits. And then give it a crush. Now I'm going to solder this. I'm going to run a little bit of solder down in here. Now, if I did that, you know, there's not a lot of support for the wires and that's where the glue lined heat shrink comes in and it really gives it a nice bit of support. Okay, so let's get the uh, solder, uh, solder gun out. So I've just hooked this up and it's really quite Heath Robinson, but uh, it's really just to let you see for the video. Oh, we're actually going to give a little top up of gas. It's just quite an old um, solder and iron this, so I'm just going to give it a little bit of heat from the top and then a little bit of heat from the bottom. You see the solder starting to melt already. Okay, that's lots. So, if we're quick, so there we go. That's the solder run down in there. What we'll do is, we'll put our heat shrink over, and we'll use our flame. To just... So this is why I'm using the flame on the solder iron, instead of using the... I don't actually have a heat gun. I really should invest in one, but there we go. There we have it. So this will actually give it a nice little bit of strength. All the glue's melted, and it gives it a seal as well. So when this actually cools down, it'll actually go quite stiff. So then all we do is when, once we're going to use it on the antenna, just connect it up and spread out the radials and jobs are good in. So this is um, one of six. So I need to do another five like this and that will give me... It works out to an equivalent of just... Uh, nine, it works out to exactly 19.2 radials, quarter wave radials for 20 metres, which is what these will... Uh, use for primarily. Okay, I'm going to go and get the rest done now. It didn't take long to rattle these up once I got going. So uh, this is um, six bunches of radials. Um, so once the, um, the heat shrink actually goes cold, um, it's actually really strong. And I'm, you know, not, I can bend it, but I'm almost struggling to bend it. So this is giving nice support for the wires. Um, and just in case, if you're wondering how difficult it is to, to lay these wires out, it, it's not difficult. Um, you can get entangles, but what you do is when you when you connect up your radials to the radial plate, you basically take the first two outer wires, pull them back, and then you work in, and you can actually lay these out uh, quite quick. So I've got two lots of these now, so I've actually got 12 bunches in total I made that I batched up last night. Um, uh, so, as I say, so we've got two metre radials, there's eight radials, 
so that's 16 meters of wire in each and then there's six of these so that's 96 meters of wire so for 20 meters that equals to 19.2 radials which is um which is more than the, the recommended 16. okay uh, thanks for watching um i thought that was worthwhile doing um as i say i was going to do them anyway so uh, if you've picked up something from it great if you know it already well fair enough we'll see you in the next video